Good morning, Spartans. Uh, I am Chris Amato, the principal of Dillerton Township Intermediate School. Uh, I'd like to welcome you to our tour of our of our building. I'm going to show you a couple key points and uh, of the updates that we've been doing all summer, getting ready for the start of the 2021 school year. Uh, we're very excited to have our students uh, back with us uh, uh, in just a few weeks. Uh, first off, I'd like to just uh, point out that we're starting outside uh, because when we come in uh, for drop-offs, we will have uh, some kiosks out here with, uh, with, uh, to take temperatures and we are going to ask you to just uh, get in a nice line and just work with us as we uh, take your temperature and make sure that you can get safely into the building. Um, so we will have three locations on this side of the building on the drop-off side, uh, two of them being one right here at the main entrance, uh, one just right off to the side. For, uh, by the IMC and then another one by the seventh and eighth grade stairwell where you know students can be dropped off uh, in my letter that will be going out we will be explaining in further detail uh, which door students should enter in by grade level um, so we're also going to walk up here this is something new that we're, we're doing this year as you can see that we have um, a deck box up front and we're going to use this deck box for drop-offs um, you know, for personal belonging drop-offs from time to time. Um, you know, students may forget something and they need something to be dropped off. Uh, we really want to limit the amount of people that are coming in and out of our building. So parents, we're going to ask that uh, when you drop something off for your student, you have it labeled already, you open the deck box, you drop it in there, and then you call the main office and you let us know um, what you dropped off and we will call your student down to come and get it. Uh, once again, we want to limit the amount of people coming in uh, into the building. We're only going to come in the building if you have an appointment. Um, so if you, if you need to contact the office for anything, including the drop-offs, we are at 732-531-5630 and extension 7000 gets you right to our main office. All right, we're going to go inside. I'm going to show you some of the improvements that we've made uh, over the summer. Okay. Okay, Spartans, we are inside the building now. Uh, as you can see, um, I am now wearing my mask. We are inside the building. You're going to see, uh, you know, even in my opening clip that we have signage that we need to wear masks when we come in the building and social distance. And uh, right now we're going to talk about the lunchroom and what we're going to do to be safe in, in the lunchroom. So first off, before we get even get into the lunchroom, you're going to see that on the floor we have markings that while we're online, that we're going to keep six feet apart. Okay, we need to social distance while we're in line. And then we're gonna come into the line. And now all lunches are gonna be pre-packaged. Okay, they're gonna have, we're gonna have two lines. We're gonna have a hot line and a cold line. Why don't you follow me for a second? So the hot line is gonna be on our, on, on the, the long side. So this is gonna be any pre-packaged meals of hot, of hot food. Um, and then this line over here will be for our cold, our cold meals, like pre-made pre sandwiches and things of that nature. Um, so when you come in, everything, you're literally just going to grab, it's going to be labeled, you're going to grab, and you're going to walk all the way down to the end of the line. Follow me. And when you get to the end of the line, you, do no, you no longer have to type in your PIN code. You just tell the Sodexo staff member your name, and then you just go walk right into the cafeteria and find your seat. Okay, Spartans, now we're into the cafeteria. Uh, as you can see, we have removed the, the tables and now every student is gonna have their own individual desk to sit at at lunch. Um, everything is more than six feet apart. Um, you are going to, we're gonna allow you to choose your own seats when you come in. This is what we're gonna ask though. When you choose your seat, you stay in your seat. The only time you're getting up is if you are throwing something out or you are ordering lunch. That's it. You're gonna get into the lunch line one time and only one time. We're not getting up, up and down and up and down. We're gonna stay in our seats unless we are throwing out our garbage or ordering lunch. You can sit near your friends, okay? And uh, while you eat, you can take your mask off on it, uh, obviously, but as soon as we're done eating, the mask has to go back on and then you can communicate with your friends with your mask on and talk to your friends that way. Um, so once again, this is just a quick look at what our cafeteria looks like. We are going to have three lunchroom locations. This is obviously our main one. 
We will have a tented area outside, which we will explain to our students where that will be uh, on opening day. And we will also utilize the commons uh, as an extra overflow space if need be. But we do feel that we are gonna have so much space for us to socially distance and, and be able to eat in a safe environment. Okay, students, while we're here in the cafe, I also wanna uh, quickly go over breakfast. Um, in years past, you would grab your breakfast from the, the lunch line and then bring it to your class and eat it. To start the school year, we are gonna eat our breakfast in the cafeteria. So you should come here, get your breakfast, and then eat it and then get to class. Um, for fifth grade, when you get your breakfast down by the guidance office, they will tell you where to go. You will eat your breakfast in that designated area and then go to class. Okay, Spartans, we are now gonna take a walk through the hallway so you can get a little bit of a view of that. I do wanna just mention that uh, one of the big changes this year is that we are combining homeroom with your first period block. So on a red schedule day, you just report right to block one and that teacher will take attendance and we will do everything that we would normally do in homeroom during that time. And the same thing goes with your white schedule day, you go to block one. We're doing that uh, to reduce the amount of transition times during the school day um, in the hallways. The hallways, uh, we are trying to do our best to make this uh, a safe space for us to transition and let me point out a few things. First off, we do have some signage on the walls here to help us remind, uh, remind ourselves to be socially distant. And what we're, what we're doing in the intermediate schools, we're making our hallways street-like, meaning that we're gonna stay to the right. We're gonna have basically two lanes, and you can see we're gonna have some arrows on the ground, okay? And we have arrows pointing in one direction, and then we have arrows pointing in another direction. So we're just gonna ask our students, very much like if their parents were driving a car, to stay to the right. This way we're not walking into anybody, or we're not walking head on to anybody. We just wanna stay to the right and walk to our next class. And we're gonna go take a little bit of a further walk down the hallway, so why don't you come follow me. Okay, Spartan, so we, we've walked down the hallways a little bit more, and another big change for us this year is um, due to social distancing, we are not going to use our lockers this year, okay? One, lockers, you're really in a tight space together, and two, when we have lockers on both sides of the hallway, it really narrows the hallway down. And once again, we just said we want to stay to the right and social distance in the hallway. So therefore, you are going to use book bags this year. Your book bags will be your, your personal locker. You'll carry your supplies with you all day. Um, and go from class to class. That is also gonna help us in transition times. When we transition from class to class, one, we're gonna do it by intercom announcement, so you wait for your grade level to be called, and two, now you can just go directly to your class because you don't have to go to your locker. Uh, we wanna also remind our students that on days that they have phys ed, you should come dressed and prepared for phys ed. You should come in the clothes, in your sneakers, and be prepared for physical education because we are not gonna use our locker rooms for changing this year. So once again, make sure you have a book bag with you uh, and we're gonna get from class to class very quickly and come prepared for phys ed on the days that you have phys ed. All right, students, while we're in the hallways, I wanna talk about one other change that we're making this year and it involves the bathrooms. Okay, for, for obvious social distance reasons, we wanna limit the amount of students that are in the bathrooms at a time. At the intermediate school, we are gonna say no more than two students in a bathroom at a time. And how are you gonna know that? That's a great question, I'm glad you asked that. First, you're gonna follow whatever your teacher's classroom procedures are for signing out for the bathroom. Then, as you approach the bathroom, you're gonna check in with the teacher, and the teacher will tell you how many students are in the bathroom. Once it's okay for you to go in, they will tell you when you can go in. In case you forget, we did add this bright yellow sign to remind you with an arrow to go see the teacher before you enter the bathroom. We really appreciate your assistance with this as we once again want to make sure that we're following all social distancing guidelines. Okay students, we're, we're going to take a little tour through a couple of our classrooms in the building. Um, right now we're in the 8th grade classroom. Um, 
what you can see is that the desks are definitely spread apart. And what we're gonna ask our students to do is make sure that when you come into class, the only time you're always gonna be wearing a mask. The only time you're taking your mask off is if you're outside or if you're eating your lunch. So in the hallways or in the classroom, you're always wearing a mask. We will also have some extra PPEs in the classroom. Should you need it, you can always ask your teacher. We'll have hand sanitizing stations, wipes to help wipe down the desks. Anything that you need, we're gonna have in the classrooms. But we want to give you a, a couple sneak peeks of what a classroom looks like. You can see that the desks are very spread out. And you know, just please always listen to your teacher's instructions. This way we can make sure that we are all learning in a safe environment. We're gonna go check out another classroom. Okay, we are now in a fifth grade classroom. I just wanted to kind of show you a classroom on the fifth grade side and a classroom on the sixth, sixth seventh, and eighth grade side. So we're in a fifth grade classroom right now. Once again, the desks are very spread apart. When you're in class, you're keeping your mask on and you're following all your teacher's instructions so we can all learn in a safe environment. All right, Spartans, we're at our last location. We're on a school bus and there's definitely gonna be um, a lot of changes on the school bus this year. I want to go through some of those right now. Uh, first off, as you're uh, getting on the bus every day, you will be greeted by one of our instructional assistants who will be taking your temperature. Um, please just let the instructional assistant take your temperature and follow their instructions on where you should be uh, sitting after you get on the bus. Uh, another thing that is going to change is that typically we have sections up front for fifth graders and then sixth and seventh and eighth, but for this year, the first people that get on the bus, you are, we are gonna ask you to go all the way to the back of the bus, okay? You're gonna go all the way back to the back of the bus and one person per seat, unless you have a sibling on the bus. We are gonna ask siblings to sit together on the bus and we will go every other seat. And you, you'll just listen to the instructional assistant and the bus driver, they will make sure that you're seated in the right areas and that we are getting to school in a safe and orderly manner. And we're really gonna need your help on the bus, boys and girls. Um, once we get off the buses and at school, the instructional assistant and the bus drivers will be wiping down the buses uh, for the next run. So um, that's it for buses, boys and girls. I know you're gonna help us out. I know, I, I know we're gonna get to school in a safe and orderly fashion. Thank you. All right, Spartans, I hope that you found this video to be helpful. Um, I just wanna let you know that you can always call the office at extension 7000 or email me, be happy to answer any of your questions. Spartans, we're ready for this. We're ready to, to get back to the learning. We can't wait to see you in person on September 14th. I just wanna remind you all that we are gonna start with remote instruction on September 3rd. Please be looking for an email from your teachers on September 2nd with your Google Classroom codes and invites so we can get right into instruction on time um, please make sure you're following your schedule every single day. Um, and once again, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out and ask. We're here for you. We're going to make this a great year. We got this. Have a great day, Spartans.